You're renowned for your intellectual pursuits, Peter. I don't want to overflatter you, but why is it that there are so few architects today who theorize about their work? Well, because uh, most architects can't do architecture, I would argue. And to theorize about your work means that your work contains ideas. And so the only work that remains in history are work about ideas. Rem Koolhaas, Moneo, Greg Lam. I mean, there are any number of architects. The only architects worth their salt have, in fact, theorized in some way or another about their work. Following on from that, uh, what do you think about the state of architecture today? Well, no different than the state of architecture ever. There were always very few architects. Uh, look, 90% of, of, you go into a bookstore in an airport, is that literature? No. Uh, is it necessary? Yes. You go into uh, cinema, cineplex, is that film? No. Is it necessary? Yes. You go into any town, 90% of the buildings are not architecture, are they necessary? Yes. So yeah, it's no different. Yeah, but 50 years ago, they wouldn't necessarily profess it to be great architecture or great literature. Today, everyone seems to think it is great. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> That's a very interesting take. I never thought of it that way. Um, maybe it's media that's caused this. Maybe the fact that every little word that you and I say and other architects who have nothing to say uh, are captured on, you know, immediately in media, into YouTube, uh, Internet, Facebook, etc. Uh, maybe media has caused this to happen. That is the ex explosion of people who have no business even opening their mouths have to say something, right? You're in front of a camera. Uh, 